Hey guys, B-Man here. Welcome to today's video. Today, we've got an awesome one for you guys. What we have today is the DLC for Shadow of the Erd Tree for Elden Ring is here, and we've got you guys a duplication glitch tutorial. How to have unlimited ancient dragon smithing stones and any smithing stones. How to have unlimited runes, how to duplicate weapons and armor and all sorts. With that said, get down there. Smash that like button for me. Subscribe if you're not already. Leave me an awesome comment and tell me or any sort of Elden Ring content that you would like to see from me in the future. And let's get straight into the tutorial on how to do this. For this one, this is going to be, you're going to need a buddy for this. This is not solo. And well, if you've got two consoles like me, you can do this really easy if you've got two consoles. Now, to before you even start doing this, you're going to need to have a server save. What that is, is a save that it's a point that if you delete the data on your console, the server has a, a point saved and it will bring it back to that point. Now, how you force a server save, how I do it, is what you do is when you load into the game, you load into whatever point you are, it doesn't matter whether we're right here, then all we need to do is go to the system, come across and say quit game from in game, and then we quit game, right? Now, we'll do this here and I'll do a server save right here. We quit game and you'll go back to the main menu. Then, what you do from there is you need to go into up into the main menu until you get to the continue screen so when you're on this screen here we come into here and this is where it will sync our data okay this is syncing the data and it's and it's syncing what our console save is with the server save right now this is part of it guys and this works sometimes but if you guys want a guaranteed server save at this point here you log your profile out of the console that you're on right now and you log this profile into your second console and then you load into Elden Ring fully and you load in on your second console what that does is it then loads your your save data from this one that you've just saved and it syncs it with the two consoles and the server and that syncs as forces a server save and once you've done that then you're guaranteed that if you delete your save data you'll come back to this point okay that is vital for if you've just got an item and you're trying to duplicate it make sure you do that first you go and put your sign it in on the second console first because you need a server save otherwise if you delete your data it might put it back to a point before you got that item that you just had in which point you lose it okay so make sure you server save now that you have covered that piece let's get into what to do so we've now got a server save right and we've just loaded into the game and we want to duplicate some items right so what we want to duplicate is say a katana but we want to upgrade them, right? So we're going to want to duplicate a katana and upgrade it. We want to upgrade some other things, but we don't want to use our smithing stones. So what I'm going to teach you is how to duplicate and everything, but also I'm going to at the same time teach you how you can use this, your smithing stones. So we have a server save already, and we've loaded in after getting our server save point, right? We've just loaded in. Now at this point, what we can do is we can go along and we can spend all of our smithing stones. So we can come to the table and all of our smithing stones and whatever we're holding on us, we can use or drop to other players because we're going to get it all back once we do our service, our data wipe okay later on so we can come to here we can come along and we can use our runes and stuff like this hang on sorry guys he's talking to him so we can come here and we can use our runes right we can use some of them get our money we can come along to here and we can strengthen this so we can strengthen this right up a plus 10 we could go along and we could strengthen something else we could strengthen this right up this is a dlc weapon that we got from the dlc we can just go along and use all our smithing stones any more dlc weapons i think this one was solitude greatsword level it up now anything that you level up guys keep in mind when you're leveling up that the other player needs to have be holding a weapon of at least that weapon level on in the inventory so to be able to see and collect level 25 and level 10 
um, somber and level 25 ancient dragon stoned upgraded weapons they need to at least be holding at least one weapon in their inventory that is level 10 or level 25 themselves an equivalent weapon okay otherwise they won't be able to see it to pick it up so as you've seen we've just gone along and spent out our, our smithing stones and things like that we can go along we can spend our smithing stones and upgrade our weapons then once we've done doing that we come across to here and we come across to well wherever you're going your other buddy is waiting to and then we're going to join our buddy and at this point we're going to drop these items that we just upgraded and all our items to our buddy to hold so we come across and then we get this thing right here which is the multiplayer this this duelist for fill finger okay we need to set this if you don't know where to get that where you get that is off the steps of right here is the steps to be able to go and get that furling finger okay you need to just go there it's in lime grain but it's quite easy to get and go along and get that that is the item that makes it so you can drop this the other player just needs to craft these which you get from the very first the ability to craft them from this first church right here as well which are very easy to get once you've done that you just need to join your buddy so our buddy will come across and summon us now again you're you when you're dropping weapons and things people the other player needs to at least be holding a plus 10 to be able to see a plus 10. They need to at least be holding a plus 24 to be able to see a plus 24, okay? And stuff like that. A plus 8 to see a plus 8 Somba and things like that, okay? They only need to have at least one in the inventory and then they can see anything. So we've joined and now at this point we've joined into our buddy and we can drop those weapons that we just upgraded. So we just upgraded this thing here to 25. We can go along and we can leave that. We've just upgraded other things to level 25. We can go along and we, even the things we didn't. If anything that we want to duplicate at this point, we can now drop to our buddy, okay? Now our buddy is like our pack mule for this. He's temporarily holding these items and then when we come back in after we get our items, our somber stones and stuff back, he can come in, we can join his lobby and we can get these back off him again. So this is essentially duplicating all these items but at the same time you're getting to use up your free use of the smithing stones so take note of how many smithing stones we have right here we're going to have a lot more soon you notice we have no ancient dragon smithing stones somber ones and we only have six of these and no level nines of these ones but soon we're going to have some okay so on top of this we could also at the same time we can drop the runes we can drop armor and we can drop all sorts of things and all of the stuff whatever we leave we use up or drop out right now we're going to get back later so it does not matter all of the stuff just gets replaced okay so need our buddy to pick the stuff up they got to pick it up because you can only have so much on the ground at a time they're just picking all of that stuff up and we can continue dropping these out now i'm only going to do the shadow runes in this video here everything works but my characters are maxed out on the other one so they can't pick up or hold any of the others so i can't show you guys them being done in this but as you see here we've now just dropped out those this we're going to actually get the nine we use some of these and they're going to come back so after this we're going to get back those runes we've just dropped for our buddy who's holding them and next game when we come back in they can drop them back to us essentially giving us a copy of them duplicating them okay so now they they are holding a copy of them they're holding a copy of the the weapons that we upgraded with the smithing stones and stuff like that guys so we could go along we can duplicate up our, our ashes of war we could duplicate our our armors our and all sorts our amulets and all sorts that's why i got so many copies of different amulets and things like that guys it works with everything but once we've finished dropping the stuff for our buddy to 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 have just like anything it doesn't matter we've dropped them heaps as you've seen then when we're ready and we're finished dropping them all to our buddy then we want to use this okay this is very important you need to exit via using this item here do not leave multiplayer without using this item here if you use the do not use this item to leave multiplayer you will get multiplayer banned 
if you use this item to you to leave you will not get multiplayer banned okay so at this point we need to leave, use this item then once we've used this item we want to open up our console come to here come to manage data and we want to delete from console our saved data do not delete from everywhere you will lose everything and no way to get it back whatsoever do not delete from everywhere you will lose everything only say select delete from console delete from console and then load back in and you will see all of the stuff that we had at that when we put we're at that server save point is going to be back to that point which means we're there before we just spent all of those ancient dragon stones and all of that so all of our drunk ancient dragon stones that we just spent we've now got unspent because we've loaded before we spent them and we're going to have all those weapons again that we just dropped for our buddy but they're going to be not leveled up but our buddy's holding the copies that are leveled up and he can now come along and drop them for us all we have to do is just go multiplayer again make sure at this point you do not cancel the syncing okay guys that is the important part because it's got to resync the old server data okay guys and this is where it's replacing it you've just deleted your your the data on your console of you going and spending all those items and now we've just reloaded in what the server had before we went and done all of that and now essentially what we just done that doesn't know we just done that and our buddy's holding all those items that we just gave him so here we are back here and now we have this it's not upgraded we have all of our runes are back so we've got all of these runes back our buddies are holding the copy of these runes and same with our smithing stones we've got our ancient dragon smithing stones and all of that and our buddies holding the upgraded weapons that we spent the smithing stones on all that we need to do is just join him via a multiplayer game and get him to drop them again and that's what i've done here that's why i've got so many copies of this right here this is the new katana from the dlc guys and same with this thing here this thing here this is the new another new weapon from the dlc and same with actually this horse stomp's ability on this this is from one of the bosses this is one of the remembrances but we've got it duplicated you can duplicate all sorts of stuff with this guys it's absolutely amazing and it's absolutely awesome you drop it for your buddy and then when when i when i want it back i just go into the multiplayer again our buddy can now join and then drop them back to us okay now when our buddy's dropping it back to us right here they will not be duplicating it so your buddy will lose it unless they go before they come and drop it back to you they go and get themselves a server up, save and then they could essentially drop, duplicate it back to you but at this stage right here they can come in and just drop it straight back to us and now we holding two of it right so now this is how you can do it yourself if you're just doing it yourself so we're getting summoned And now they can drop those runes that we just dropped for them. And they can drop those weapons as you see that weapon that that this thing here the main goosh that we just upgraded to plus 25 we've got that and all sorts guys so we just duplicated that we got a free upgrade of that weapon and everything we've i just didn't drop the other weapons that we on the other profile because i don't need to for this video but as you see there we just went in we spent our dragon smithing stones on this upgrading it we then dropped it for our our buddy and then we went along we, we used our thing to get out of the multiplayer we deleted our save and come back in and let it sync data to our old save where we didn't have this upgraded and then we've jumped into multiplayer with our buddy and he's dropped it back to us and also dropped us our runes and we've got and we've also doubled on our runes as well you can do this for the new shadow realm rooms and everything guys so with that said you can use this to duplicate everything with that said guys get down there smash that like button for me 
subscribe if you're not already leave me an awesome comment and guys this is on both series x and on an old gen xbox that i've been doing this over so this is definitely working perfectly on xbox with that said keep being awesome and guys remember if you've got any ideas on any future content that you want from this channel let me know in that comment section keep being awesome and i'll catch you guys in the next one b man